Hello guys, welcome to Metten. In this video, we are going to look at the anatomy of the epididymis. So the epididymis is a comma shaped structure which lies in the superior and posterior lateral surface of the testis. It is made up of highly coiled tubes. Highly coiled tubes. So coming to the parts of the epididymis, the epididymis is divided into uh, three parts, the head, body and the tail. Three parts, the head, then we have the body and then we have the tail. So the epididymis is divided starting from the top into three parts, the head, body and the tail. The head is a upper expanded part. It's a upper expanded part. It's a upper expanded part and it is connected to the upper pole of the testis by the efferent ductules. Connected to the connected to the upper pole of the testis by the efferent ductules and the body is in the middle part and tail is in the lower part. So the body is made up of a single highly coiled duct of epididymis and which emerges from the tail as the vas deferens. So this is about the parts of the epididymis and what are the functions of the epididymis? Functions, the common one you might think of because of uh, epididymis is the storage and maturation of the spermatozoa. Storage and maturation. Storage and maturation of the spermatozoa and it also helps in the absorption of the fluid. Absorption of the fluid and uh, it also helps in the addition of substances to the seminal fluid to nourish the maturing spermatozoa. It also adds substances to the seminal fluid. Helps in the maturation, absorption of the fluid and adds substances to the seminal fluid to nourish the maturing spermatozoa. So this is about the epididymis. Now let's look at the development of testis and epididymis and also we look at the embryological remnants in relation to testis and epididymis. Coming to the development development of testis and epididymis what do you have in the development the testis develops in the abdominal cavity testis will develop in the abdominal cavity abdominal cavity in its posterior wall from the mesodermal genital ridge in the posterior wall of the abdominal cavity arises from the mesodermal mesodermal genital ridge genital ridge on the medial side of the developing mesonephros on the developing mesonephros it will develop which is at the level of the t10 segment it's at the level of the t10 segment and all the components of the testis which is nothing but as the tunic albuginia uh, fibrous septa seminiferous tubules straight tubules, the retail testes, sertoli cells, they all develop from the genital ridge except we have the primordial germ cells. We have the primordial germ cells, primordial germ cells, these will develop from the, uh, the primordial germ cells will develop from the wall of the yolk sac, wall of yolk sac. So the primordial germ cells will develop from the wall of the yolk sac and they also migrate secondary to, secondarily to the genital ridge. These will migrate to the genital ridge secondarily. So this is about the development of the testis and epididymis. Now we will look at the embryological remnants in relation to testis and epididymis. So coming to the embryological remnants. Embryological remnants. This is an important question for the UG exams. So all those UG students, UG students who are watching can make notes of it. So what do we have in the embryological remnants? First we will drawing the testis. Then just above the testis we have the epididymis. It extends like this up till here. And then first thing is the first we are discussing is the appendix of the testis appendix appendix of testis so where is the appendix of testis it lies somewhere here 
this is the appendix of the testis it's nothing but as a, it's an oval body attached to the upper pole of the testis that is the appendix of the testis the second thing is the appendix of epididymis appendix of epididymis this is also called as the hydatid of morgagni hydatid of morgagni morgagni so what is the appendix of epididymis you can find out this one the small head i have drawn right this is the appendix of epididymis or uh, hydatid of morgagni so it is nothing but is a small pedunculated rounded body which is attached to the uh, head of the epididymis it is the remnant of the cranial end of mesonephric duct remnant of the cranial end of mesonephric duct so this is about the appendix of epididymis the third thing we have is the paradidymis paradidymis it is also called as the organ of gerals organ of gerals so what do we have in the paradidymis you can find out somewhere up above the head of the epididymis we have a small remnants this one is called as the paradidymis or organ of keraldis it consists of three or four tub four tubules which are found in the spermatic cord just above the head of the epididymis and these are the remnants of caudal mesonephric tubules the fourth thing we have is the superior aberrant ductules superior aberrant ductules so superior aberrant ductules they are two or three in number they are two or three in number and they are situated or attached to the upper end of the testis above the upper end ductules and they are remnants of the upper mesonephric tubules so they are two or three number and attached to the upper end of the testis and they are remnants of the upper mesonephric tubules so this is about the superior aberrant ductules the last thing we have is the inferior inferior aberrant ductules where is the inferior aberrant ductules somewhere here so the inferior aberrant ductules are one or two in number and they are attached to the tail of the epididymis and they are the remnants of the intermediate mesonephric tubules they are the remnants of the intermediate mesonephric tubules so this is about the embryological remnants in relation to the testis and epididymis if you watch the video till the end please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and share it to your other friends who are in need of the anatomy thank you so much